Nice shot, kid. That was one in a million. <laughs> Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Star Strike on the Intellivision, a game that tries to recreate the Death Star scene from Star Wars and comes up a bit short, but it is interesting. Let me read you the back of the box. Star Strike. Here's a spectacular planetary adventure. You're in command of a lone spaceship on an attack run over an alien star. Before you, a trench will soon be pointed like a gun barrel at planet Earth. Before that deadly alignment occurs, you must destroy five targets while you fight off squadrons of defending alien spaceships. The faster you bomb all the targets, the higher you score. If only it were that exciting. Star Strike. Audible radar signal helps you get ready to release your bomb. Woohoo! Audible, what will they think of next? There it is. Could you hear it? That was the audible signal. Bombs away! No! No, I missed the red thingy. Now the trench is being aimed at planet Earth, which for some reason looks pink when recorded with the Frame Meister. Anyway, this is quite literally a giant recreation of the Death Star Trench Run battle scene from the end of Star Wars. Yes, that time I hit it, as evidenced by the rumbly sound and screen shaking effect. I have to give the designers credit for having a good idea. The force was strong with their inspiration, not necessarily their execution. Though Star Strike looks better than it is. And it's got a great packaging design. Star Strike for Intellivision. Love the box art on this one, it's very cool. Like a cross between uh, Battlestar Galactica and Star Wars. Can't go wrong. With that, here's the back. And if we open this guy up, you can see he's got the cartridge, little overlay, and the instruction manual. Star Strike! Basically, you have to bomb that thing five times before the timer reaches zero, and as you may notice, the enemy spaceships, like TIE Fighters, chase you from behind and then fly in front of you, where you destroy them, but I can't figure out what shooting them down does for you, since there's no score. You don't seem to get any extra time for blowing them up. <laughs> maybe I missed something, or maybe I'm just shooting them for fun, I don't know. Probably that one. But the fact is, this game really isn't all that much fun after a few minutes. Star Strike gets painfully repetitive, but I think this game would have been amazing in 1981. Seriously, I think this would have been great to relive the trench battle scene like this because it looks really cool. This is what the Intellivision was good at. Better than the Atari 2600, it could pull off visual effects like this. And I love how the designers recreated the whole Death Star scene uh, using the planet Earth, kind of like the Death Star coming around the moon or whatever, it's kind of like the Death Star scene in reverse. So creatively, they get high marks for this one. I'll bet it did pretty well for them back in 1981, but... These days, it's just not the most playable in television game. It does look cool, though. I believe there's five difficulty settings. I'm playing on the third one, which is reasonably fast. Speeds four and five are just insane. It blows up Earth before you can blink, which may or may not be a bad thing depending on how much you like Earth. It's Star Strike from 1981. Can't really recommend this one unless you're a serious diehard in television fan. Odds are you probably already have it. I think I have three copies of it. Like, you stumble upon this one all the time. This is Star Strike! Yeah! 
That one went in and impacted on the surface. As always, thank you for watching. Classic Game Room is on Patreon. Classic Game Room Barware is at ClassicGameRoom.com. And my books, Surf Panda, Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 2, and Retro Megatrex are on Amazon.com. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano! Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.